how the Montreal Canadiens can become a powerhouse in five years. The Montreal Canadiens will be rebuilding, so it would make sense for them to trade away their veteran players for picks and prospects. This is how the Montreal Canadiens could become a powerhouse in five years. At the trade deadline, a few trades are made. Montreal Canadiens trade Brendan Gallagher to the Pittsburgh Penguins for Kasperi Kapanen, Pierre Oliver Joseph, and a first round pick in 2022. Jeff Petrie and Joel Armia are traded to the Dallas Stars for Riley Tufte and a first round pick in 2022. Jonathan Drouin and Jake Allen are traded to the Colorado Avalanche for JT Comfer, Pavel Francoeurs, and a first round pick in 2023. Josh Anderson and Joel Armia, Josh Anderson and Joel Edmundson are traded to the Anaheim Ducks for Sonny Milano, Jacob Larson, and a second round pick in 2023. Christian Dvorak is traded to the New York Rangers for Phil Pedel and a second round pick in 2022. The Canadians also trade Ben Sherratt and Arturi Lekkanen to the Vancouver Canucks for a third round pick in 2022 and a second round pick in 2023. Montreal Canadiens finished the 2021-22 season with the 5th worst record in the league and end up with the 5th pick in the draft. Before the 2022 draft, 3 trades are made. Montreal Canadiens trade Carey Price to the Edmonton Oilers for Dylan Holloway, Kyle Yamamoto, Zach Haskin, and a first round pick in 2022. Montreal retains 2 million of Carey Price's annual captain. Mike Hoffman is traded to the New Jersey Devils for a 3rd round pick in 2022 and a 4th round pick in 2022. Canadians also trade Tyler Toffoli and David Savard to the Chicago Blackhawks for Dominic Kubli and a second round pick in 2022. Montreal does not have the fifth overall pick because of the Christian Dvorak trade with Arizona. In the 2022 draft, the Montreal Canadiens draft Simon Nemec 9th overall, Elias Salomonson 18th overall, Philip Bystep 29th overall, Liam Ogren 37th overall, Devin Kaplan 39th overall, Cruz Lucius 56th overall, David Goyet 69th overall, Tyler Brennan 72nd overall, Jack Devine 74th overall, Thomas Hamara 83rd overall, Simon Forsmark 96th overall, Julian Lutz 101st overall, and Grant Sam Schwartz, 111th overall. Montreal Canadiens re-signed Alexander Romanov to a three-year deal worth $3.5 million per season and Dominic Kubelik to a three-year deal worth $3.5 million per season. The Canadiens re-signed Kasperi Kapanen to a three-year deal worth $3.25 million per season and Sonny Milano to a three-year deal worth $2.5 million per season. Hayden Primo is re-signed to a two-year deal worth $1.5 million per season and Samuel Montable is re-signed to a two-year deal worth $750K per season. Jacob Larson is re-signed to a two-year deal worth $1.3 million per season, and Pierre Oliver Joseph is re-signed to a two-year deal worth $1 million per season. Kyle Yamamoto is re-signed to a one-year deal worth $1.5 million. Montreal re-signed the following players to one-year deals. Cedric Paquette, Brett Kulak, Ram Pitlick, and Riley Tufty. Montreal Canadiens re-signed all non-roster RFAs. Montreal Canadiens signed the following players in free agency. Vincent Trocek is signed to a 7-year deal worth $5.2 million per season. Zakita Zadorov to a 2-year deal worth $3 million per season. And Matthias Janmark to a 2-year deal worth $2 million per season. Eric Goodbronson is signed to a 1-year deal worth $1 million. And Nick Cousins is signed to a 1-year deal worth $700K. Montreal Canadiens finished the 2022-23 season with the second worst record in the league and end up winning the draft lottery to land a number 1 pick. Before the 2023 draft, one trade is made. Montreal Canadiens trade Paul Byron and Brett Kulak to the Detroit Red Wings for a 4th round pick in 2023 and a 6th round pick in 2024. At the 2023 draft, Montreal Canadiens trade picks 30, 34, 36, and 50 to the Ottawa Senators for pick 8. In the 2023 draft, the Montreal Canadiens draft Connor Bedard 1st overall, Emile Gerventi 8th overall, and Samuel Sizik 66th overall. Montreal Canadiens re-signed Cole Caulfield to a 4-year deal worth $5.5 million per season. Phil Pedel is re-signed to a 3-year deal worth $2.75 million per season. And Kyle Yamamoto is re-signed to a 2-year deal worth $2.75 75 million per season. Ryan Poling is re-signed to a one-year deal. Montreal Canadiens re-signed all non-roster RFAs. Montreal Canadiens signed the following players in free agency. Ivan Barbashev is signed to a four-year deal worth 3.5 million per season. Simeon Varlamov is signed to a three-year deal worth 3.5 million per season. And Carson Soucy is signed to a three-year deal worth 2.5 million per season. Montreal Canadiens missed the playoffs in the 2023-24 season and ended up with the 10th pick in the draft. Before the 2024 draft, two trades are made. Montreal Canadiens trade JT Comfort and Kyle Yamamoto to the New Jersey Devils for a third round pick in 2024 and a third round pick in 2025. The Canadiens also trade Ryan Poling, Raleigh Tufty, and Jacob Larson to the Arizona Coyotes for a fourth round pick in 2024 
2024, a 6th round pick in 2024, and a 5th round pick in 2025. At the 2024 draft, the Montreal Canadiens trade picks 10, 42, and 74, as well as the second round pick in 2025, to the Columbus Blue Jackets for pick 3. In the 2024 draft, the Montreal Canadiens draft Macklin Celebrini, 3rd overall. Montreal Canadiens re-signed Caden Gooley to a 4-year deal worth $3.75 million per season, and Dylan Holloway to a 4-year deal worth $3.6 million per season. Caden Primo is re-signed to a 3-year deal worth $3.5 million per season. Josh Brook is re-signed to a 3-year deal worth $2.5 $2.5 million per season, and Jan Maisek is re-signed to a two-year deal worth $1.75 million per season. Montreal Canadiens re-signed all non-roster RFAs. Before the 2024-25 season, one major trade is made. Montreal Canadiens trade Sonny Milano, Carson Soucy, and Samuel Montembeau to the Arizona Coyotes for Joseph Coronar and a third-round pick in 2025. Montreal Canadiens make the playoffs in the 2024-25 season, but lose in the first round of the playoffs. After the season, a few trades are made. Montreal Canadiens trade Cruz Lucius, Kasperi Kapanen, and a first-round pick in 2025 to the New York Rangers for Capo Kako and Braden Schneider. Devin Kaplan and Josh Brook are traded to the Buffalo Sabres for JJ Paterka and a second-round pick in 2025. The Canadiens also trade Phil Pedal to the Seattle Kraken for a second-round pick in 2025. Montreal Canadiens re-signed Capo Kako to a five-year deal worth $5 million per season and Braden Schneider to a four-year deal worth $3.5 million per season. Dominic Kubelik is re-signed to a three-year deal worth $3.8 million per season and the Canadiens also re-signed Jake Evans to a three-year deal worth $1.7 million per season. By the 25-26 season, the Montreal Canadiens have assembled a dominant young team. 25-26 Montreal Canadiens. The first line is Dylan Holloway, Connor Bedard, and Cole Caulfield. Second line is Dominic Kubelik, Nick Suzuki, and Capo Kako. Third line is Ivan Barbashev, Vincent Trocek, and JJ Paterka. Fourth line is Jan Maisek, Philip Bystet, and Jake Evans. First D pair is Caden Gooley and Simon Nemec. Second D pair is Alexander Romanov and Elias Salomonson. Third D pair is Pierre Oliver Joseph and Braden Schneider. Goalies are Caden Primo and Samuel Varlamov. Top prospects forwards Emil Gerventi, Samuel Sizik, Macklin Salabrini, Liam Ogren, David Goyette, Oliver Kapanen, and Julian Lutz. Defensemen Logan Mayu, Thomas Hamara, Simon Forsmark, Graham Schward. Goalies Joseph Coronar, Tyler Brennan. The Montreal Canadiens have now assembled a dominant team that could be contenders for the next decade.